morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's my great pleasure to introduce the launch of the full results of the Global Forest Resource Assessment 2020, or FRA 2020, as we call it. It provides a comprehensive picture of the world forest resources and their trends for the period from 1990 to 2020. We know that we depend on forests. They are a source of food, medicines and biofuel for more than one billion people. They protect soils and water, host the vast majority of the world's terrestrial biodiversity and help mitigate climate change. They provide many products and services that contribute to socioeconomic development and create work and income for tens of millions of people. Forests are at the heart of the 2030 Agenda. They have immense potential to support sustainable development pathways. And yet, we are still losing forests. The world has lost 178 million hectares of forests since 1990, an area about the size of Libya. This needs to end. We must protect and manage forests sustainably for the benefits of people and the planet. The key to this is rel reliable evidence. Accurate information on forest resources is also needed to monitor progress towards the achievement of the National Determined Contribution, NDCs, of countries under the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. The Global Forest Goals of the United Nations Strategic Plan for Forest, the forthcoming post-2020 Global Biodiversity Framework, and the global efforts to halt deforestation that are at the core of SDG 15. For the first time, FRA data were collected using a digital platform. This innovation helped to reduce the reporting burden. It also gave all countries access to freely available remote sensing data and products. Accurate, official and reliable information is what FAO is providing by releasing the FRA 2020 report today. I now give the floor to my colleagues. They will explain why this flagship report is so important, how these data were collected and how we'll make them available to you. Today's launch represents an important milestone for many of us. The Global Forest Resources Assessment 2020 is the result of hard work of hundreds of experts worldwide, and its findings have been long awaited. The reason why this assessment is so important is that it's the only truly comprehensive and authoritative assessment of global forest resources. It is based on official country statistics which have been compiled and reported to FAO by a network of national experts from across the world. This process has been a huge participatory undertaking and we're really excited to be able to deliver these results to you today. So let me give the floor to my colleague, Antti Pekarinen, who coordinates this process at FAO and who will tell you more about the results published today as well as the various products we have made available to you. Antti, you have the floor. Many thanks, Mette. It is indeed with great pleasure that today we release the full results of the Global Forest Resources Assessment 2020. The assessment comes with a number of new important findings, some of which we have already shared with you. However, let me recap some of the most important messages. First, the world's forest area continues to decrease, but the rate of loss has slowed since 1990s. This is a result of successful reduction of deforestation in some countries and forest expansion in others. But we have to do better. We are still losing 
4.7 million hectares of forest every year. Most of the forest area losses happen now in Sub-Saharan Africa and South America, but also in Southeastern Asia, we continue to lose almost 1 million hectares of forest every year. On a more positive note, there are clear signs towards more sustainable management. For example, the area of forest found within legally established protected areas continues to increase, and it has now reached 18% of the global forest area. This means that the IG Biodiversity Target 11 to protect 17% of terrestrial ecosystems has been achieved for forests. Another positive trend is that in the last 20 years, the area of forest having a long-term management plan has increased by 13%. And now more than half of the world's forests have such plans. This is really great news, as the existence of these plans indicates the intention to manage the forest sustainably to guarantee their provision of long-term benefits. These three key findings tell to us that globally we are making progress towards a more sustainable future with forests. Nevertheless, halting deforestation remains an enormous challenge. An estimated 420 million hectares of forest has been converted to other land use, such as agriculture, mining, infrastructure, etc., worldwide since 1990. In the most recent five-year period, the annual rate of deforestation was estimated at 10 million hectares. Although deforestation is slowing down, we are nowhere near to meet the commitment to stop deforestation and increase the global forest area. At this rate of reduction, achieving the SDG 15 target of halting deforestation, which was set for 2020, will take another 25 years. Now, I hope that I have your attention and that you cannot wait to get your hands on the Global Forest Resources Assessment 2020 information products. Let me just briefly describe what we will make available today. First, we will publish the main report. It is a comprehensive digital document that presents the results of the analysis of over 60 variables that were collected during the assessment. The report focuses on presenting the status and trends of those attributes at global, regional and sub-regional levels. In addition, it also includes statistical fact sheets for all the regions of the world, as well as country reported figures for selected key variables. In summary, the main report is the product aimed at all those users that want to obtain comprehensive understanding of the FRA process and the results of the analysis FAO has carried out. Our second product consists of 236 reports that are the basis of the analysis presented in the main report. These digital documents contain all the information reported by the countries and territories to the FAO. Finally, we are very excited to introduce the new FRA platform. That will give you access to the same inform information as the reports I just mentioned, but in a format that it will make easy for you to use this data in your own analysis. By visiting the platform, you can select any country or region of the world, access the original data or summary statistics, and visualize and download them on your own computer. These products will add to the key findings publication and digital interactive report launched earlier in May, and now available in additional languages. I thank you for your attention and hope that you will explore these new resources and find the information you need in the format you like. And stay tuned, as we plan to continue disseminating Global Forest Resources Assessment 2020 data in special studies during the coming months, in the lead-up to the 15th World Forestry Congress, which will be hosted by the Republic of Korea in May 2021. Thank you. Many thanks, Ansi. Dear all, I hope you've enjoyed this brief virtual launch of the key results of the Global Forest Resources Assessment. I invite you all to go to our website where you can download the main report, access all the country reports and the interactive platform. And please let us have your feedback. 
We are very eager to know what else we can do to make these results even more useful for your purposes. Thank you so much for your attention today. Stay safe and hope to see you again soon.